In this video, you will learn how to add, edit, rename and remove data labels in Microsoft Excel charts or graph. Currently, you can see here I have inserted data labels in bar chart. This one is the simple bar chart and I have inserted data labels. Currently, you can see here I have renamed these data labels and instead of values, I have inserted double A, double B and double C. In addition, you can observe that the middle bar contains the data label which is different from the rest of the data series. So in this video, you will also learn how to edit single data point from data series. I have also inserted data labels on multiple bar graph. Here you can observe that I have inserted data labels in the form of data callouts. I have also inserted data labels in other data series and I have changed text direction of this data series and I have inserted these data labels in the middle of these bars. Finally, you will also learn how to remove these data labels if you have already inserted data labels in Microsoft Excel charts or graphs. So let's start this tutorial without further delay. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. Firstly, I will generate a simple bar chart. Firstly, select this data. Go to insert tab. From here, I will select recommended charts. And in recommended chart, you will find the option of all charts. Go to column or bar chart and from here I will select this one simple bar chart. After selecting this, click on OK. Now you can see here I have inserted a bar chart. If you are interested to conditionally format this graph, then separate video tutorial is available on our channel. You can watch that video. In this video, I will only focus on data labels. To insert data labels on your bar chart, select this chart. At the corner, you will find the option of plus sign, which is chart element option. Click on it you will find multiple options. From here, you will find the option of data labels. Check this option. Now you can see here Microsoft Excel has inserted data labels on our chart. Now you will learn how to format these data labels. Click here. Click on any data label. Now you can see here all data labels are selected and it is indicated by these square and small circles. Go to Home tab. You can use this option to format data label according to your requirement. For example, I want to bold this. Change the color. Change font size. Now you will learn how to edit single data label. Click on any data label. Then whole data series will be selected. Then again click on that particular data label which you want to edit. For example, I want to edit this data label. I will click on it again. Now you can observe that only this data label is selected. Now I can format only this data label according to my requirement. For example, I want to change the color. From here, I will select black color. Now you can observe that only one data label color is changed which was selected. Now I will generate a multiple bar chart. Select this one. And from here, I will select another data series. Now you will learn how to remove these data labels. Click on this graph. Go to chart element option. And from here, I will deselect data labels. These data labels will be removed. If you want to insert the data labels in multiple bar graphs, same procedure will be followed. Select the graph. Click on chart element option and from here you will find the option of data label. Select this one and Microsoft Excel will insert data labels on your chart. If you want to deselect this one, deselect this option and data labels will be removed. Now you will learn how to insert data labels on single data series in the form of callout. Select this data series. I want to insert data labels only this data series. Go to chart element option. From here, I will select data labels. Now you can see here, Microsoft Excel has inserted data labels on only one data series which was selected. If I want to insert data label in the form of data callout, then I will check this option and here is the option of arrow. Select this one. Then I will choose data callout option. Select this one. Now you can see that Microsoft Excel has inserted data label in the form of data callout. You can also edit this data callout. Select this one. Right click. 
here you will find the option of change data label shape from here you can choose the desired shape for example i want to insert the data call out in the form of this shape i will choose this one now you can see your data call out shape is changed now now i want to insert data label on other data series select this one go to chart element option and from here i will choose data labels select this data labels right click here you will find the option of change data label shape you can easily change the data label shape using these options now you will learn how to change the position of these data labels select this one right click here you will find the option of format data labels select this one from here you will find the option of label position i will select center now you can see a data label position is changed now you can select inside end inside base and outside end in addition if you select all these data labels place your cursor here when four arrow sign appeared you can drag it on your favorite location now you will learn how to change the direction of these data labels select this one right click go to format data label option from here you will find the option of size and properties select this one here is the option of alignment select this one from here you will find the option of text direction i will choose this one now you can see a data label direction is changed now now you will learn how to insert border and fill this shape go to fill and line option from here i will select border i want to insert a border so i will select solid line if you don't want any line around these data labels so you will select no line then no line will be appeared around your data labels if you insert solid line then solid line will be appeared around your data labels if you go to fill option you can fill this shape for example i will select solid fill and from here you can select the color of fill in this case i will select yellow so you can use fill and border option to insert border and fill this shape if i am interested to insert only data labels and i don't want this border or fill select this one right click again go to format data label option and from here go to fill and line option in fill select no fill and in border select no line close this one click here now you can see here no border or fill appeared on these data labels now you will learn how to rename these data labels i want to rename these data labels on this data series select this one firstly i will write text which i want to insert for example i want to insert double a double b double c now click on any data labels the data labels are whole data series are selected right click go to format data label option here you will find multiple options for example here is the option of values from cell you can select values from cell here is the option of series name if i check this option you can observe that series name appeared along with the values similarly here is the option of category name you can if you select this name then category name will be appeared along with data labels i will deselect category name and series name here is the option of show ladder lines i will deselect this one if your label contain multiple values then here is the option of separator you can use any separator according to your requirement as i earlier explained that i want to rename this data label so i will select values from cell select this option it will ask data label range select the cell which contain data for example i want to insert double a double b and double c instead of values click on okay i don't want these values i will deselect this option 
and I will close this one. Now you can observe that instead of values, Microsoft Excel has inserted double A, double B, and double C. So by following this video, you can easily add, edit, rename, and remove data level from Microsoft Excel graph. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.